What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. Today is another full day of eating on my total carb challenge. Um, today we're going to have, um, or my kick off this with lunch. Then I'll have my um, afternoon snack of, you know, my typical keto coffee. And then we're gonna end right now with making dinner. So tonight's dinner is leftovers from two nights ago where I did the meatloaf. And I have done this many times on my channel before, but for those of you that are new, I'm gonna make meatloaf croutons for um, the side dish, which you just reinvent the meatloaf. I made a bunch of them ahead of time. Um, and it's a great way to reinvent leftovers um, without having the same thing over and over again. So I'm making meatloaf croutons meatloaf croutons and we're gonna do grilled zucchini and squash on the grill just so i can limit and um, moderate how many carbs i have so anyways um we're gonna just head on over and um change the camera angle and let you see what i'm doing and then i'll let you see what everybody else is doing <laughs> for dinner tonight so for those of you that there's more than one cuisine going on in your family you can see it's possible to make it all work so let's get cooking. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. 80,000 subscribers already. Crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for um, all of your support. Okay, so we've got the cutting board out, my scale, and I'm gonna do eight ounces of squash per person. Um, so it's my dad and I eating this, and then my mom wants a little extra, and I'll make some for my kiddos. So I'm gonna do enough until I hit that point. <laughs> um, All right, so these are pretty decent sized zucchini. I want, I'm looking for eight ounces for me. <laughs> and let's see, the cool thing about this scale is the screen comes out. I'm making it real easy. Wow, this one, <laughs> this one zucchini is one pound in itself. <laughs> so that's two, two servings right there. And I think putting this one on is going to be enough for everybody else. Just about. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just dice this up. How would you I'll like it sliced? That. I'll do that and you start the meatloaf. Okay. What do you think? Uh, hunks yeah, like do, that. Do the long okay. Ones. You stay here, and I'm gonna have my dad chop this up, and we're going to take this leftover meatloaf <laughs> and dice it up into one-inch cubes. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is take our leftover meatloaf, take it out of the pan, and cut it up. Um, we're looking for one inch sized crouton pieces. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the main, it will taste just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and I'll be right back. So now you can see about the size pieces we're working with here. Um, do enough per person. I'm having. I'm making for six, so I'm going to cut up a little bit more. Um, all we're going to do is take this and put it in the pan to make our croutons. Um, so I'll be back at that step. Okay, so at this point, the butter's melted. It's on the bottom. And now we have all of our croutons <laughs> at the bottom of the pan. So the cool thing about this is it's already seasoned. Um, you can add a little bit more salt if you would like. Um, I use salted butter, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, but all you're going to do is just mix it up so the butter coats everything. And then you're going to just let it cook and let it do its job. And we want little crunchies and little crispies on, on, on there. So we want the char. We want a little bit of brown crispiness on the edges. So these are just going to sit here and cook up <laughs> so i'll be back when it's time to flip them again you can see a little bit of that crust that we're trying to get um and the amount of flavor in here is just going to be awesome <laughs> so let's go check the grill um dad's out there grilling up our veggies okay so off my deck on my camp we have our little driveway where all of our cars are 
Um, there's the deck that overlooks the lake. You can see all the towels and everything from our swimming down at the lake. The lake is off in the distance right there. So we literally are, you know, 200 feet from the, the lake. <laughs> so and then the rest of our cars are down the lower part of our driveway that wraps around. So um, here is my parents' camp. Um, they have a deck in the back. They have a basement down below and then one and a half stories like my camp. And then we have our little community kitchen area right here <laughs> where we have where we do most of our meals when it's nice out and then I'll show you where the outdoor kitchen is so and this is my I'm on my camp <laughs> and on this side of my camp is our humongous fireplace and kids play area but we have a massive fire pit. <laughs> Those are humongous rocks that were underneath my camp when we built it and they make for a great safe fire pit. Um, and then of course you have to have a kids play area. <laughs> All right so let's go check out and then there's one of my dad's toys. All right well look I found dad. <laughs> Hi Tom. Hi everybody. What do we have here? Well, we got the first couple grilled Ooh. summer squash off there. And we get the next round right under here. And just olive oil, salt, and pepper? This this bad boy right here, California right. olive oil. <laughs> no, avocado oil, silly. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Whatever you gave me. <laughs> I follow directions. Alrighty, well, we're going to go back in the kitchen. It's probably time to flip the meatloaf. But we're just going to grill each side of the... Um, of the zucchini and that's as simple as that and there is my parents cottage um, they have a better view of the lake because they're slightly closer but I'll pan and show you ignore all the towels from swimming today but here is my cottage where we've been <laughs> staying in our one and a half story cottage um, it's just perfect for what our needs are. I mean, we have our big house in Texas, so we want this one to be cottage-like. <laughs> All right. And here's a quick look around inside here. Let me zoom, let me zoom out here so you can see better. But oh, there's the living room. The loft is upstairs where the Kids' room is my office area, bathroom, bedroom, closet, stairs, and that's it. Real simple. <laughs> that's why we like it. And obviously the kitchen. Okay, so we're going to turn some of these ones on the bottom and just let you see the char. See that crispiness on the outside? That's what we're looking for. So just give them all a good turn. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. As I'm going to add a little bit of salt as well. And we're, I like to have leftovers and I'm cooking for a lot of people. So that's why there's quite a bit there. That looked delicious. All right, so as you can see, the outside, there's a little bit of a crunch on here to make them look more like croutons. Um, they are sizzling in the butter and then the, whatever the remaining fat is in the croutons. And you can just see they are holding together nicely and they will make a great side. They'll make a great topping for salads. Um, so these are seriously a home run recipe and it's a great way to reinvent your leftovers so i'm going to serve these up and enjoy it's drinks too yeah i'll take my drink honey look how beautiful okay Alrighty. well we have the finished product we have the grilled squash or summer squash the meatloaf croutons and for the other the others here we have um salad fixings to make a salad and then do you want to say what you've done with your drink let me oh, zoom in. Okay, now this is the bubbly salsa with a few ice cubes and a cherry, a fresh mint leaf. <laughs> fresh out of the and, garden? Yeah, everything from the garden except the cherry and like 
Is that not an awesome drink? Wow, and the kids have them too? The kids have it this too. This is an awesome drink too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's dig in and I make our water. plate. What do you have, two? just water? Me just too. Water. <laughs> and there's my finished plate. Six ounces of meatloaf croutons and six ounces of grilled summer squash and zucchini. Okay, so another day of tracking total carbs and here is my macros. So I did 11 of 19 total carbs. Um, I didn't film breakfast because it was the same thing I've been doing. So um, I think you can pretty much guess what three fried eggs and a half tablespoon of butter and three slices of bacon would look like or how you'd make it. <laughs> so um, I just to keep the video shorter and not so drawn out. So, um, so moving on to dinner. I did eight ounces of raw. Um, it ended up being six ounces cooked. So just know that um, the raw weight and the cooked weights are different. So, um, but I logged it as eight ounces raw and a tablespoon of uh, avocado oil. And then in the meatloaf croutons, it's just one serving of my normal meatloaf, which I have also already um, in here because I've made this recipe a gazillion times. So it makes it to, to real easy to just log your meatloaf. <laughs> Um, and then I, I, after dicing up those meatloaf into croutons, I put about a tablespoon per person in the pan and um, pretty much sauteed or browned up those croutons with the butter. Um, and then also I had the um, coffee, my normal unflavored collagen, uh, two tablespoons of heavy cream and uh, black coffee. I, I didn't, I forgot to log my sparkling water, but it's really not going to make a difference. So <laughs> um, just know that that needs to also be in here. Um, so overall, I had a great day. 97 of my 119 grams of fat. I typically stay under my fat macro goals um, and judge by my body, how I'm feeling. And I felt fine at this, you know, at here. I know that if I was hungry, I could have had more fat. Um, 81 of 95 grams of protein. I was a little low today. Um, I... You know, I felt fine again. So, uh, 1260 out of 1527 calories, and of my you know carbs, I went up with 11 of 19. So overall, it was a great day. I was not hungry today. I just was so busy. So I'm going with it. And yeah, so see you tomorrow at day two of week two, and have a great one. This is Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind. Don't forget to subscribe.